Okay, so I just read a couple of articles about how insane gender critical people are. Now, for those of you who don't know who gender critical people are, that's just a nice way of saying transphobes. But anyway, so the first one, first article, which sent me down a rabbit hole, <clears throat> was about how gender critical men go to the dating app Her, which is a dating site for lesbians, which includes trans women, because unlike the gender criticals, they recognize women are women. So these white knights, which, by the way, I'm sure a lot of these doofuses would be the first to claim that other people are a white knight if they defended pretty much anything a woman were to say to them, because obviously the only point of male-female interaction is to get laid, wouldn't put it past these, these doofuses, but they made accounts. These are straight men who made, cis straight men who made accounts on her to prove that trans women are a problem. Because all trans women are, are men looking to trick lesbians into sleeping with them. Which, what? <sighs> that is not what a trans woman is, you colossal dumbass. So this first guy, let me go back an article. I said go back an article. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. So. This site. Okay. So this one guy claimed he set up an account on her social app for lesbians run by TRAs, which I assume means trans rights activists. Someone calling, some, calling himself Richard Kearns wrote on Twitter, I have already had likes. This is the shit real lesbian women are dealing with. Men try and get lesbians to fuck them. Um, no, sweetie, that would just be you. Kearns proceeded to share screenshots of different users who he deemed should not be on the inclusive platform, but many of them turned out to be other gender-critical men who'd made accounts for the same reason. In the comments, he described the community of, on her as a freak show. One such gender-critical activist Kearns highlighted was Twitter user Skeptical Phil, who, quote, tweeted Kearns' post and explained he joined her to highlight the issue of straight men on these apps. Twitter users were quick to blast the men's investigations and cr as creepy and gross. One wrote, in order to highlight the issue of straight men on these apps, you're the straight man on this app. You're the issue. Trans activist Kath Kathy Montgomery said, they have to make this stuff up because they already believe it's true, but without lying about it, they don't have any evidence. Another person wrote, trying to prove trans people invade women's spaces by being a cis man invading women's spaces and finding other predator predators doing the same thing. So, yeah, it's just, what is wrong with you? I mean, okay, let's pretend that that there are men out there who do that. Why is it that it has to take a trans woman going into these spaces for you to pre suddenly pretend you actually care about women's spaces? Because... That's not, because when women actually get attacked, I bet these doofuses would come up with some excuse as to 
why it's not their problem. But if it's a trans woman, oh my God, we've got to protect the poor defenseless woman because we didn't give a shit when it's a cis straight man who was attacking them. Seriously, what is wrong with you? Because I do not believe for one second that this would not happen with these gender critical dipshits. They're women. They don't see themselves as men. And they're, they're much more truthful than you are because you don't identify as a woman. You just decided you were going to help protect women when you're, all you're doing is putting them in danger. What if it turned out that there was a lesbian who you managed to fool? And how far would this go? How exactly is this, is this helping anyone? And what would you do if you were actually in a room with a lesbian? Because I can assure you, these people who claim that they're trying to protect lesbians would be the first to think that lesbian, the point of lesbians is to get straight men off because they like to watch or something. Or they have this, this fantasy that they could be the meat in that sandwich because that's what lesbianism is or something. So, no, no, this is, when they say it's creepy and gross, it is. They feel safe on this app. Nobody asked, turned to you and said, oh, there's this creepy guy who's pretending to be trans who's bothering me on this app. Could you come on and deal with it? Nobody's doing that. Absolutely nobody has said squat about there being a problem on her with straight men on that app, which I might add, Trans women can be lesbians. So I I fail to see straight men, women can be lesbians, straight women can be straight. Trans women can be straight, I mean. It's I I don't see why you're calling them straight men. They are not men. They dress like women. They might act like stereotypical women. Um, some might have had the, had at least one surgery, if not multiple surgeries. It is not up to you to decide what is a woman. It is up to a person to decide how they feel. And if you don't agree with them, it's not your problem. If other people were to come to you and tell them, tell you that there's a problem, fine, white knight them all you want. But let's face it, nobody is asking for your help. Seriously, I don't think if they met you in real life, if a lesbian met you in real life, if she wouldn't like walk the other way or actually run the other way because you're just, disgusting you're creepy because you even think that you're you're the type of dude who um agrees with these trans bills that you know that says that trans people should use the bathroom of their birth of their birth sex and then gleefully suggesting that you know, we have to see your genitals. Because that's not creepy and invasive and not potentially getting you off. And what about the women who've had surgeries? At least as far as trans women are concerned, I've heard that the surgeries are much better than it is for trans men. So it's not like you'll notice a difference. So, unless you're ha you happen to be one of those dipshits who are, like, completely 
oblivious to such and such an actor being trans. And when you find out, you're like, oh yeah, I knew all along. Or same thing with if they're gay. Oh yeah, I knew all along. When, no you didn't. No you didn't. You just have to assuage your fragile ego that you're somehow smart enough to discover the trick. What is wrong with you? So anyway, apparently her has been having issues with bigots coming onto the app because they've suddenly discovered that trans women are on this app when they've always been on the app. It's always been inclusive to trans women because unlike you dipshits, they actually give crap about inclusivity. Now, are there women who wouldn't want to date a trans woman or anyone who's trans? Yeah, absolutely. Just like I am not interested in dating anybody or um, or some women prefer, you know, or some people prefer, you know, blondes or brunettes or, um, you know, more built men or you know, scrawny, or, or who knows, who knows what people prefer in a partner, that is all perfectly fine, if they're not interested in you because of your being trans, because you, oh, I don't know, haven't had bottom surgery yet, or whatever the case may be, that's fine, as long as they aren't, have, don't have a problem with it, just simply because trans people exist. That's fine. Everyone has their preference as to what kind of a person, what qualities a person has that they're interested in. Fine. Nobody's nobody is saying that because trans women are on this website that everyone they're interested in has to date them. Just like in any other way, you do not have to choose to date someone that you match with. So, I failed to see the problem here. They're just trying to find a date just like anyone else. And because it's trans-inclusive, and since this is a dating app, then I'm not familiar with this app, but maybe they actually um, mentioned that they're trans. In which case, people can decide, do I want to date this person or not? And, but that's up to them. It's not up to you to police this and decide you know better than the women on the app what's good for them. Because you are not their white knight. You're being creepy. You're being stalkerish. Because nobody's asking you for your help. No, to my knowledge, I've never heard of a problem on her from anyone and especially apparently the only people that are the problem are the bigots who come onto there recently and have decided that they're going to defend womanhood without you know the benefit of anyone actually asking for their help because they're just fine just because you just learned about this about this app and about trans women being allowed doesn't mean that lesbians have been fooled all this time. They know that trans people are on this app. Like I said, maybe they even have it in their profiles with, who's trans. That That's for them to fig, to deal with on their own. It's not up to you to make the decision that this has anything to do with you. You are not defending women. You are deciding that women are too fucking stupid to, to breathe and that you need to save them from something. Not your problem. Anyway, speaking of making, making something up, let's go to the next article, just in case you think that gender critical... Um, it's just gender critical men who make shit up and in order to 
show how scary trans women are. Well, this is not a post about a trans woman, but a gender neutral bathroom. So we've gone from, oh, women, trans women should have their own toilets. You know, trans people should have their own toilets. So we should have gender neutral bathrooms. To gender neutral bathrooms are a hellscape because reasons. So in this article, a Twitter user, and this happened on, let's see, what's today, the third. So this happened a couple days ago. This happened on Tuesday. Um, a Twitter user, Nora UTD, posted saying she had visited a bar on Manchester's Canal Street and when going to use the bathroom was quite grateful to having been directed by a staff member to the back of the bar with a quieter bathroom and no queue. If you haven't guessed, this is in the UK. Bathroom was big enough, loads of stalls. It seemed pretty empty when I first went in, she said. <sighs> However, she claimed that as she was fixing her lipstick before leaving, a drunk man who was about two feet taller than me stumbled out of a stall behind her. I was alone with him. I left immediately. Sounds like a you issue. Because, you know, just because someone's drunk doesn't mean that they're scary. <sighs> she added, I can't ask my heart rate not to shoot up or reprogram my brain to not feel immediately alarmed in situations like this, nor should any other woman have to. Then don't go to a gender neutral bathroom. I don't know what to tell you. You could say nothing happened, but every time this happens to a woman, it's a gross invasion of our privacy, dignity, and right to sex-based protections. This is not about men or men claiming to be trans people. This is about women. When it comes to our rights, we come first. All right. So based on that statement, I'm going to assume you thought that that was a woman's bathroom, which it was not. It was gender neutral. Which you actually claimed at the beginning. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And she has since deleted her Twitter account. Um, so, uh, her account of a gender-neutral bathroom. So, I don't know if at the time of, t of posting this, she had any clue or even when she was in there, that she had any clue that this was a gender neutral bathroom. I don't know how it's, how their, um, how bathrooms are, are, um, labeled in the UK, but in the US, you, you see, they show pictures to show what is a men's room, what is a woman's room, and which is a gender neutral. It, sometimes it's called a family restroom. Sometimes it's just pictures of both men and women. So, I don't know. Even restaurants and bars do um, label their restrooms. So, unless they don't do that in the UK, I'm going to say that you either missed it or either dumb as a doorknob. Because how did you miss that it's gender neutral? But anyway, Nora signed the tweet off with the hashtag save women's spaces. Again, it was a gender neutral bathroom, not a woman's space. So nothing to save because gender neutral bathrooms are a thing. I, I just don't know what to tell you. People accused her of lying to push a gender-critical argument when she was in a queer space, noting that Canal Street is historically the center of Manchester's gay village. One of the responses to the tweet was from a man named Samuel, who claimed he was the drunk man who she encountered in the gender-neutral toilet. He said he was a senior staff member at the bar, which is never named in the exchange, who had just finished his shift and went to use the bathroom before he left. 
You were already at the sink when I entered, so you were aware of my presence, he wrote. I was also completely sober. I would like to remind you that you are in an LGBTQ LGBTQIA plus venue that has gender neutral facilities and offers a safe space to everyone. Samuel then requested that Nora never return to the bar. Oh my God, so much wrong with this. Okay. So first off, she, now maybe she just assumed, because like I said, she seemed to be, she seems to be under the impression that this was a woman's restroom. It never even occurred to her that gender neutral is a thing, which is bizarre because, like they said, she was on Canal Street. I mean, do you not have any concept of where you are? You mean going to a bar like that didn't, nothing ever clicked that this was an inclusive bar? I do, how do you not know that? I mean, at least in the U.S., they make it pretty obvious, you know, they're gay flags, their gay pride flags or other pride flags, you know, probably trans or asexual, whatever. There's probably a bunch of pride flags. There's all sorts of ways to show that this is a gay-friendly establishment, and you seem to be shocked that a man was in a bathroom with you when, number one, um, if you're going to the, the bathroom, especially if it's, you know, a taller person, you're going to see legs under the damn stalls. You're going to see that somebody's in there. So that's number one. So you'll know that you know, that there's somebody in there. That's number one. Number two, she assumes that this guy is drunk because he, how, why else would he be in a, in a woman's space, right? Unless, you know, so she was actually being, giving him the benefit of the doubt, I guess, but yet her heart was still racing. Okay. So, on the one hand, you're assuming that he must be drunk because why else would a, a man be in what you thought was a woman's only space? But at the same time, you were scared because, because it never occurred, because you're afraid to be in a space with a man. Huh? Either he's just a confused drunk, or he's a violent drunk, or he's just simply violent. I, I fail to see what the... And she brings up trans. I'm sorry. You, you recognized him as a man. Trans women, mo most of the time, I mean, there are some who aren't interested in passing, that's for sure, but... They're not going to look like your stereotypical man either. There's going to be at least something about them that's queer. This did not happen. You totally recognized him as a man. Hence, not trans. Because trans men would be in the men's room. Because, again, you're operating under the assumption this is a woman's bathroom. As opposed to a gender-neutral bathroom that it was. So Samuel let you have it and you deserved it because what the hell, you're in a gay friendly space, you're in a, in a space that's friendly to the LGBT community and you're going to go freakoid because you didn't pay attention to the fact that it was a gender neutral bathroom. This is, everything about this is a you problem. Every sing, every last one. Now, I'm not a resident of the UK. I've never been to the UK. I know that Canal Street is a is a center for gay culture in the UK. 
I just do not know what to tell you. I really don't. It's, it's, and I knew this before I realized I was a part of the LGBT plus community. I always knew this. So, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know how you did not know this, how it, how you didn't pay attention to the fact that this was a gay, gay, a gender neutral bathroom. I just, what, I just don't know what was going through your head. And I'm sure this Nora, not only will she, you know, was she told not to come back. I don't think she was planning on coming back anyway, because, you know, for no other reason, just the embarrassment itself, even if she wasn't gender critical. Just the embarrassment of, of being shown to be so, so not aware of your surroundings. You know, I, I wouldn't want to go back there either. Now, as to the the bar was never named, the establishment was I'm, I'm I'm bummed that Samuel didn't mention the name of the bar. Not because, you know, that would prove anything like, oh, that'll prove that, you know, he truly was the person that they were talking about or whatever. But this would, this would bring business to the bar because there, there would be quite a few people who would probably want to go to the bar where this dipshit um, went thinking it was, quote, quote, a normal bar you know, not inclusive, and they couldn't be bothered to notice that gender-neutral bathrooms are a thing. So, um, yeah, I would have preferred that he mentioned the name of the establishment. Now, I got this from Pink News, and the last I saw was that they've contacted Samuel for comment. So I don't know how much more he can comment than what he already did, but as of as of today, March th March May third, he still hasn't responded. So I just thought it was amusing. I mean, it's so frustrating that gender critical seem to think the world revolves around them and that they're somehow the hero of the world. And that they have to share their stories to protect, or in the case of the men, protect women from something that isn't happening. Because in both cases, women are being depicted as these damsels in distress that need to be protected. Now, do, they, do women need to be protected from predatory men? absolutely does that mean that you should become the the um the protector yourself and to put upon yourself to be the the person who's going to protect all all women from from whatever danger no and to be honest like I said, in the case of the men, they probably wouldn't give a shit about helping women, except when it comes to trans women. And then all of a sudden, they, they're they willing to protect women because of they just want to show that they're men or something. I don't know. And I mean that the, the, the white knights, the ones who claim that they're being the heroes to protect women, that they want to be shown as real men or something. I honestly have no idea what's going on in their heads because otherwise they don't give a shit about women's issues. This woman, I she obviously has issues. If just the sight of having seen, of a man being in the stall I mean, number one, mistakes happen. You're in a freaking bar. And maybe even if he was drunk, that doesn't mean he's dangerous. 
I've, I've met people who are really, really sweet when they're drunk. Yes, violent drunks exist, but you don't have to be trans to do that. You don't have to be a man to be a violent drunk. Women can be that way. So just the fact that he was drunk, not a reason to freak out. Uh, the fact that he just got out of the stall, which technically he's in a more vulnerable position than you because all you're doing is checking out your lipstick. You're in a better position to run like hell and, you know, get help. Whereas he is not in that position because he's getting out of the bathroom. I just don't know about these people. Do, do they live their lives in fear? Does she does she have a gun under her pillow? I mean, seriously, what I do not understand this thinking. Men some men can be scary. I'll be absolutely. But to just assume that any man who comes near you when you you think you're alone, yeah. He might have startled you. You might not have realized that there was somebody in the bathroom. But, you know, toilets flush. So you probably heard something before you saw him. So you knew somebody was there. At that point, you should not be startled. And if you see a man, why assume that he's the one at fault? Maybe, you know, I would think, oh, was I in the wrong restroom? Oh, it's gender neutral. Oh, okay. Why is this a big deal? I can see why she probably must have got flamed to death to have to um to have to take delete her Twitter account. Not just delete this post, but her entire Twitter account because you know, she was shown to be an utter moron. <sighs> So yeah, those are my two stories of gender critical people being absolutely stupid. Like I said, if you don't feel comfortable around men, fine. Then what are you doing in a gender neutral bathroom? Big, you know, make sure that it's a woman's room. If if that freaks you out so much, make sure that you're in a woman's room. As opposed to, you know, maybe accidentally going to a men's room or in this case, a gender neutral. Because what did you or what did you think gender neutral meant? I honestly have no idea what was going on through that woman's head. But it just is mind boggling that she made a big deal about this. And what it was such a big deal that she made a Twitter post about it and then having to delete her account when it became obvious that no one believed her. The guy um, posted on it, on, on her thread, and to prove that she indeed was making shit up. I mean, what exactly did you think you were trying to accomplish? Because this wasn't even a case of a trans woman. This wasn't a case of a trans person at all. So I failed to see what you what point you thought you were making. Anyway, like I said, it's just too bad they didn't name the establishment, especially since obviously she got flamed pretty hard. I'm sure that there are a lot of people who live in the Manchester area or possibly might be visiting Canal Street and would have loved to give this place business because that was just really, really stupid. Anyway, that's all I have for this video and I will see you guys next time.